Hello everyone, I'm Zelda Kelly with Psychic Secrets. Today is your weekend tarot reading for the weekend of May 19th through the 22nd of 2023. So I've already shuffled the cards, but I want to cut the cards really well a few times. And I'm doing this so I don't hit the camera. We are a little closer today. Now this reading is for all signs, and it may not resonate with every one of you, right now but many times a little day two later it will resonate so the good thing is this past week we came out of a mercury retrograde and we're just going to take it easy for a little while so we're going to cut the cards once more and we're going to start laying out this beautiful page of cups we have the ten of wands and we have this very upsetting looking nine of swords. We're going to lay out two more cards. We have a two of swords there, and then we have a king of cups. All right, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to look at the, oh yeah, okay, great. The ace of cups here. So I'm going to put this card to the side so we can talk about these others. You can see it just right there. All right. It looks as though this is regarding a relationship. Now, this weekend is going to be very eclectic for you. And I think in many respects, you've been wondering if a person has been true to you or not. I think this weekend is going to be the telltale sign you're going to be able to tell have they been true? Well, let's take a look. And I'm going to say, first of all, there's going to be a message coming to you. You're going to be finding out. These page, of the, well, the pages of tarot deliver messages. And you see there's a little fish in the cup. That's because the fish is the spirit animal of the cup suit because it is a water element. So this is going to be, well ideas and thoughts and emotions of love, something that we all want and think about sometime in our lives. This page of cups is very, well, he's, he's dressed very romantically for the time, maybe not so much now, but it shows that he is definitely in the mood to deliver this beautiful, peaceful, and very emotional message. Now, I like this little fish, and I'm going to tell you why. This little fish, to me, tells me that you can navigate through a situation. Have you ever seen a fish swimming in a stream? How they just navigate things so quickly, and they can just turn on a dime and just navigate through. Well, I think, literally, that's what you've been doing with this relationship. You've been navigating through and it may be even a little choppy waters. Well, I think this weekend you are in charge. You are going to be the one deciding, have you ended this? Will you be ending this? This ten of wands means that you're coming to the end of this chapter. That something needs to happen. There needs to be some growth. There needs to be opportunity with this relationship or you're going to just move on. You're going to basically take all of this that you have given and what have you given? Well, you are the big participant in the relationship it looks like. So you've given all your love, understanding, physical, mental, just, just everything to keep the relationship going and it does not look like it's been reciprocated or returned. So you've decided, and I think this weekend will be the deciding factor, that, well, you may decide to walk away and take all of that emotion, take all of that that you have given, take it back, and I think move on. Now you're thinking about this and you know what's going to happen. You do know, and I think the reason why you haven't done it though so far, well, is because you know what will happen. You're going to be sorry. You're going to be hurt. You're going to be upset. And do you see these layers of swords? 
Well, sometimes our thoughts, not sometimes, always our thoughts are in frequencies, which are in vibrations, which tend to layer. And this person here who's having a sleepless night, and first of all, I want to show you, do you see the little blue quilt, the blue squares in the quilt? Do you see there are the astrology signs in every one of those squares? That means no one is immune to this type of feeling and upset. And also, do you see this? This is conflict. This is, this is what happens of the what if, and it's right below where this person would lay their head. So they can't get away from it. They're trying to, these thoughts, compound. And what does that mean? Well, compounding thoughts, and this is Riley in the background that you hear. Compounding thoughts mean, as an example, okay, well, if this person does this, then I'm going to do this. But if they don't do that, then I'm going to have to do something else. But if I have to do something else, then I'm going to have to do this and do that. And what if? And what if not? And why can't I? And why don't they feel this way? All of those 3 a.m. Mor morning thoughts and feelings are compounding and you know it's ahead of you. That's why I'm taking the time with this call or this card because it is ahead of you. If you go on the path that you are seeking to go on, and you know, sometimes in the heat of a moment, we say, okay, I'm done. That's it. And you decide to walk away. And that is regret. That is anxiousness. This, though, this two of Swords, very airy, and this is an air, air element. The swords are the air elements because, well, it has to do with our intellect and our thinking, which dictate our emotions. But you see this card. This person looks in somewhat, well, I'm just going to say bound up a little bit. They are handicapped to a certain degree because there's a blindfold. This is your sensory perception. This is, you see the water behind, and, and it fools you because it's not a water sign, but the water tells you that the, the situation will continue to go on and flow. But you have to be in control. Right now, you're in self-protection mode. You're in survival mode right now. But I want you to see something as my cat Sam walks through. Pardon her. Thank you very much, Sammy. The oh, I want you to notice something. Do you see this white dot? That white dot right here. I know you see it right there above that eye with at that bandage this person has on their eye or on their eyes. That white dot represents your third eye, your intuition. You know, when you lose one of your senses, another part of your senses kick in and it is your feelings and your sensory perception now that's kicking in well in all intents and purposes it means your gut instinct and I'm going to say you're going to follow your gut instinct in this particular situation here is the person that we're talking about could be a water element a water sign you see the little fishy down here and he's jumping He's, he's jumping out of, out of his element. Get it? Sometimes we are out of our elements. But this element, this is a water sign person. So it is a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer sign. Now, if you're seeing this and you're resonating so far with this reading and your partner isn't one of those water elements, that's okay. Because I think your partner is giving you the vibes of this person. What are the vibes? Well, I'm going to say maybe even a big talker, someone who can't commit, someone who's not participating in the relationship but wants to, making promises they can't keep. And I think this king of cups sometimes gets a bad rap, but they are a lover for sure. And they love the idea of being in love. And they love home. And they love family. So in all fairness, it's not a bad person. They just can't commit. Now, this is neither male nor female. 
I'm talking about the energy. So if you're resonating with this, if that energy resonates with you, then this reading may be for you. So your gut instinct is telling you, look, this person has to participate in this relationship or else, or else I'm gone. And that's going to happen this weekend. Now, what happens if you decide you want to follow through with your gut instinct and your plan and take your emotions and just wrap them away and move on? Other than you feeling like you're going to be feeling regret and anxiety of not making the right decision and second ch guessing your choice, you have this beautiful ace of cups that now comes onto the scene. This beautiful ace of cups coming here basically, basically tells me that you are in a really good position. That this is going to be change. This is a benevolent hand coming out of, out of, well, God, source, heaven, cosmic unknown, universe, whatever you want to say, because your cup is about to run over. You will make the right decision for you, whether it's be leaving or staying. Trust your gut instinct. Trust yourself and trust the idea that you will definitely have a fresh start no matter what path you decide to take. Just remember, these readings are not slated in stone, but they are a guide in which to tell you what is coming, and you always have the free will to change it. Everything and anything can change, including this King of Cup energy. So, believe me, I'm just going to say, Everything looks okay. Everything is going to be going in your favor. One way or another, whatever you decide, this favor will be here. Now, I want to do one more quick card. This is a little longer than what I anticipated, but I want to give you... There we are. I want to give you that idea, and you know what this card is about? There are several cards that came out. <laughs> I'm joking and I'm laughing because I'm say I'm I'm happy about this because look this is the judgment card you're making a judgment call you're going to be waking up to a particular situation this weekend this ace of swords means that you've got it covered intellectually you're going to be able to think and make the right decision so you can have your fresh start emotionally and this Seven of Cups tells me that you will be making that right decision. And even though sometimes our decisions fool us because, well, sometimes they're not really what we think and we need to have all the facts. So I'm going to take this as a final confirmation that make sure you have all the facts before you make your decision. And whatever, whatever you decide, you're going to do it. So you can trust your instinct. I love this for you. So trust yourself. Sorry for the length of this video. I wanted to share this with you because I think it's important when we talk about our relationships, what is coming ahead, you'll make the right decision. I know you will. How do I know that? Because you always do. Don't let the thought of you being upset hold you back. If this is something that you know you need to have or do. Thank you so much for being here. I wish you a really good weekend. I think you're going to be thinking through some things. My name is Zelda Kelly. You can find me on social media at Psychic Zelda Kelly. And also, if you'd like to talk with me directly, you can call me at www.psychicsecrets.com. You go on there, then you can call me. I'm an extension 11. It's going to be a very thoughtful weekend for you. But... Until we meet again, you be blessed, you be well, and I will talk with you very, very soon. Bye for now.